Take a look at Reggie Moore, deep three ball. Washington State's lead is 11. Well, ladies and gentlemen, he's one of the great players in the history of the Gonzaga basketball program. A couple of magical years a few years back for Mr. Dan Dickow. And I tell you, I don't know if this program was ever more fun than when Dickow had the basketball. And he joins us here now live. And, and this game right now has got to pain you a little bit. For sure. Uh, you know, they're just not getting it done right now. There's a lot of turnovers on the floor. Um, Washington State seems to be getting all the loose balls, which, you know, that's a big thing in college basketball is uh, the little things. And right now that's what's uh, Washington State's beating us at that game. Yeah. You have to be impressed with what Washington State has brought here tonight, Dan. This is a tough place to play. 65 and 3. We thought the Bennett's and all that defense left <laughs> Pullman, but lo and behold, the defense still here. Yeah, you know, I think uh, from what I can see is they're, they've taken the, the defensive philosophy of uh, the Bennett's and then integrated it with uh, Coach Bowen, his style being a little bit more up tempo. So they look great. You know, I think there's plenty of time left in this game for Gonzaga, but, um, you know, we got to be a little bit more aggressive. And Clay Thompson missing a free throw, 81% shooter from that line. And Mr. Elo, he doesn't miss much from there. No, he, he missed them both. He gave Harris, me old jinx. Harris with the rebound. Here's Villarino. You know, Dan, you talked about the, the team being stagnant. Zach basketball is a whole different way of style playing, right? Can you explain to people what that exactly means? Loose balls, diving, scrambling, that kind of thing? Yeah, it's, it's really kind of just an aggressive mindset. You know, Coach Few gives his players, uh, especially his, quote, go-to guys, a lot of freedom to uh, attack and create and kind of uh, make plays out there. You know, you watch the first half, Matt Bolden did that, but he didn't really get in the paint a ton of times. Uh, you well, know, Linick did. at the buzzer. Sorry, Dan. <laughs> great bucket there by Gonzaga. You know, that was a great play, but once again, it came at the end of the shot clock. Uh, both with Coach Few gives him a lot of uh, opportunities to be aggressive offensively, and then defensively, he just wants you to fly around and stay within their philosophies and try to, uh, you know, limit other teams' easy baskets and things like that. And now it's Gonzaga's turn on defense. It's a nine-point ball game in Spokane. Reggie Moore, Kopravica, Bolden with the defense. Kopravica got it back. Bolden tipped it away, and now Curry with it. Harris, oh, Thompson with a great play for Washington State. Capers with the lay-in. Wow. Great defense by Matt Bolden on one end to stop the Cougs from oh. getting a basket, and then Clay Thompson getting back and taking the ball away from Steven. Because Harris was going to break the backboard. And a foul here. Tell you what, I've been uh, very impressed with uh, Harris. Oh my watched gosh. a few of the games on uh, on TV up till now, and I think he's got a chance to be really, really good. You know, he's 20 years old, and everybody talks about that. So his maturity is there, and he's played in great games over in Europe, in Germany, and and uh, so he's he's got a lot of experience. But I love it when he faces a guy up and puts the ball. In. I mean, he he brings a whole dimension that Austin Day and those guys didn't bring. He had a play earlier in this half uh, on the block in front of uh, the Gonzaga bench. He saw the double team coming. He, he back dribbled out of it, waited to see just what the double was going to do, and he skipped it. Uh, had, the, had the shooter on the opposite wing been ready to shoot, you know, that would have been a knockdown three. So, I mean, I think from what I see, he can definitely understand the game and know how to play, too. Harris, a 69% free throw shooter, hit them both. And it's a nine-point game. More into the middle. That Pope Ravizzi, yes it is. Nice left hand. And now the turnover. Uh oh, Lennox stepped on the end line. And, and that's where Coach Few gets a little upset with Kelly. He just, he, Kelly's such an, he's not spastic or anything, but he's, he's, he just plays with a lot of energy. He's a freshman. He's a freshman, so he's going to make, he's just slow down. Slow down, he tells him all the time. He looks excited out there. Yeah, he's happy to be there. Yeah. And Sacre up off the bench. He'll be checking in. Washington State with another chance. This is Thompson. Jump shot, no good. Olenek with the rebound, and now Bolden far side. Stephen Gray has it tipped away by Castro. And now Washington State on the move. Thompson to the rim. Put back Castro. Back to a 13. And now a timeout. 
You know, I, I've watched Stephen Gray play a lot of basketball, and you correct me if I'm wrong, but sometimes when it's not going for him on the offensive end, he gets a little lazy. In the last couple of passes, he's been lazy with the basketball. Yeah, I think his strength is uh, really catching and shooting the ball. He, if he can come and do a better job of coming off and being ready to shoot, it'll help. Get your copy of Gonzaga's Decade of Excellence DVD packed full of highlights, interviews, and the memories that have made Gonzaga's Decade of Excellence. Order online at gozags.com or call 877-281-4377. You'll see all kinds of big shots by Dan Dickow. Oh, God, those years were fun. They were so much fun. Well, your favorite was one. Your kids still do it. Oh, the St. Joe's game, right? <laughs> yeah, it's the game against St. Joe's on New Year's Eve, where high school yeah. went absolutely bonkers. That was uh, that was a lot of fun. My kids love watching that highlight. Oh, it's Harris by Harris, yes. Nice drive by Bolden. Harris having a big second half for Gonzaga. Well, Zags switched to a two-three zone, trying to slow down man-to-man. -man. They haven't been doing a very good job of. Keeping the Cougs off of the boards for extra shots. Thompson, the fake, and then drops the jumper. That's a sharp looking shot there. What do you think of this game, Dan? I like it. I've never really uh, seen him up close or really paid too much attention, but he seems to be able to know how to score in different ways. Um, and that's important for a guy who, needs to, who wants to try to get to the next level. 13 point game. Foul on, I believe. It was Grand Kid. We'll take a timeout. Dan, thanks for joining us. Thank Good you. luck. We'll see you soon, I'm sure. Appreciate it. Appreciate Dan Dicka, we'll be right back. See you, bud. But there doesn't seem to be any sort of change in momentum here in the second half. Harris playing well for Gonzaga, but they've got to get better defensively. They've got to keep this Washington State team from getting easy buckets. No, when they knocked it down to nine, Washington State had an answer for it, and it was because Gonzaga let their guard down. And Moore will fire the three in and out. Tipped around Harris with the rebound for GU. And now he'll push the ball. Spins away from Moore. There's Mangisto Rock going to Sacre. Hold. Yeah, but a holding call on D'Angelo Casto. Robert did a nice job in the initial break of getting down there and setting down and, and right under the WCC, right under the uh, free throw line. And when he takes up position like that, it's hard for D'Angelo to guard him down there because Gonzaga will move the ball from one side of the floor to the other to get the pass into Robert. Two fouls on Castro, three on the team, and another turnover. Gonzaga now with 14 turnovers in this game. Thompson to the baseline, kick out Moore. He was open for three, didn't take it. Grant Gibbs was late getting there. You know, when you have a lead, you have the luxury of, of not taking that shot. And Rock with the block of Thompson. Grant Gibbs, lob, Harris, great catch, and finish. And Castro called for the personal. That's what you love about Elias Harris. Once he gets into the paint, he's got quick hops. And watch him go up. Great look by Grant Gibbs to get the ball over there. He was hoping for a little showtime going on, but I like what Harris did. He caught the ball and then challenged Castro at the rim. Harris with a three-point play. He's hit all five of his shots here in the second half. He has scored 11 points. He has been the difference. He's what's kept Gonzaga close to that 10 point lead. Moore. Oh, the teardrop. Boy, I tell you what, Hilo, I don't know if I've seen a player as Washington State calls the timeout. I don't know if I've seen a player with a shot that arcs so high. Did you notice that? That he hit the three from the wing in the first half, the thing I swear hit the rafter. But watch, you watch his free throws. Remember, he's got, what, 22 in a row now. Uh, and uh, he's an 88% free throw shooter. Watch the rotation on his ball at the free throw line. It's just like what he does at outside the line. He's got great rotation on the basketball, and he gets that arc up. Remember, the ball's got to go up to get into the basket, and that's exactly what Reggie Moore does. Yeah, Moore's eight second half points. He played just seven minutes in the first half. Picked up those two fouls that we thought one should have went to Abe Logwood, but went to uh, Reggie Moore. He had the set. Left at, what, 15 minutes left in the first half. Didn't come back into the game until under five minutes, so. 
He's making up for time lost in that first half. But this is the guy that's doing it for Gonzaga right now, Elias Harris. He's just surprised everybody. Look, grabs the rebound, scores the basket for the first two. It's a great pass, and you get him that deep in the paint, he knows what to do with the basketball. And this is what I love about him is he's just so darn good. If he can get you off of the block, face up to the basket, and put the ball on the rent on the deck, he'll take any guy that's guarding him doing that. Leas Harris, the difference for Gonzaga right now. Yeah, he's scored 13 of their 19 second half points.